It doesn't seem like 10 years ago, does it? Well, nothing at my age seems like 10 years ago. It was also 10 years ago that um, last year that the puzzles attack happened in the North End of New Bedford, uh, which we did a package on. And it was 10 years ago that the Foxy Lady was shot up in December. We did not, we had to to decide which ones we were going to make an effort. We we did not do that one, but that was a a very bizarre um, event also and, and, and traumatic certainly for the New Bedford Police Department. Yeah, I remember speaking to you that day because, uh, you know, and I'm comfortable talking about it now, but I, I grew up with Scott mm-hmm. Madeiras, the guy who did the shooting. From Freetown. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you were, you know, remember you and I talking about it, and I, I knew him really well. I mean, McCarthy, Madeiras, we were in a homeroom together. Yeah. Uh, you know, we went to elementary school with him. I never knew him to be an unstable person. I thought he was a fun guy. I mean, we didn't go hang out or go fishing together or anything like that, but every time I saw him, he was a 10 or 15-minute conversation. I didn't even know he owned guns. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I've always had a theory that, that there is a, a monster in all of us, and, and, and there but for the grace of God, you know, you, that, that is a person, I take it, that you never would have predicted oh, could, never. could try to commit mass murder, and whatever it was, I think it was a, a love triangle or, or something that went wrong, uh, you know, he went over the edge, and uh, that's, the, that's the inscrutable mystery, human beings, like, you just don't know. Well, it's, it's weird when you, when you grow up, like, I mean, I remember riding bicycles with a kid, you know, and like fifth grade you know I mean, really I knew him really well and uh, yeah as I said I had lost contact with him but not intentionally just you know we didn't see each other much but when I would see him always good conversation as you point out it was a love triangle the weird part to me was that he then he shot at the police officers uh, they were he, uh, I think he was trying to get them to kill him I think yeah. that's probably the murder by cop yeah suicide by cop suicide guy cop and, and of course the real heroic actions down there of the of the police unbelievable uh, right because they, they were outgunned uh, at, at that time I think they had better weaponry now I mean he had all this uh, semi-automatic uh, equipment and the cops in New Bedford did not so. well they had semi-automatic weapons they just didn't have long rifles okay uh, just so people don't I'm not sure if you're a gun enthusiast or not Jack I sense not I actually have a couple from when I was in New Hampshire just because uh, in New Hampshire almost everybody hunts and right. I did a little bit of it but, yeah. but I'm not a gun enthusiast it's but just a semi-automatic for people at home is a gun every time you pull the trigger you just get one bullet you know, pull a trigger every time you get one bullet. Now, it, it, some some have a better, uh, they're just constructed better to fire more bullets, but you still only get one per per trigger pull. Um, but he had a lot of ammunition, and he, first of all, he also knew what he was going to do, uh, which is the element of surprise. But, no, the, the police officer, one of them shot in the eye, uh, drove the other one to the hospital or vice versa. I mean, just a real heroic, heroic story. And that is interesting. That all happened right in that same Time period, huh? Yeah, all within one year. You had uh, puzzles, the Foxy Lady, and then the Bianco Raid. 